Chowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Medicom Mafex Classic Spider-Man and Webman. Now taking a look at the front, we can see that both figures are showcased in the new Medicom Mafex window box packaging designed to pretty much look like a comic book cover. Turning both boxes around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figures in multiple posing positions with their different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's go ahead and crack these figures open and let them breathe. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at these new Mafex Spider-Man figures being the classic Spider-Man and my boy Webman. I freaking love that dude. So. I'm doing these together because they're pretty much the exact same figure, just color swapped. That's all they really are. There's no real differences between the two. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and take a look at these together. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the classic Spider-Man right here. Uh, I freaking love how this turned out. First of all, again, I was a giant Mafex hater for the longest time because we all know the QC issues they had and they were just pumping out garbage for the longest time. But in the past few years, they've really stepped up their game. And honestly, I'm a giant fan now, especially when they're doing these more like comic book accurate figures that they've been doing with both Marvel and DC. Uh, but I've been really interested in their Spider-Man figures. Now, the thing is, I didn't have any of the other Spider-Mans besides the current black suit that just recently came out not too long ago uh, because I didn't like those versions. They were either too dark. I didn't like the more... Uh, you know, comic book art styled one. I didn't really like any of those. They looked okay. Uh, but when I saw this one, just a straight up old school classic Spidey with these bright and vibrant colors, that really nice red, that beautiful bright blue. I mean, that's the Spider-Man I know as a kid. And this is just the straight up Spidey that I've been waiting for, man. And again, I think Metacom has been doing a great job with these. The sculpt looks fantastic. The head sculpts look great. The paint is so beautiful on, on this. Uh, the, the the sculpting of the spiders on there is really nice. It's not just like tampoed on. It's actually fully sculpted on both the front and back. So you got the big red spider that I always kind of thought looked like a tick. You know, <laughs> that's on there too. But the webs are fully sculpted. Again, that bright blue just stands out. It's something really nice, man. I love that a lot. And now, one thing I do notice here. Uh, the webs themselves, the web lining on the suit, aren't actually painted. It's almost more of a wash that they put on there. And then that, that black paint kind of just seeps into the lines of sculpted cracks, you know what I mean? So it still works out really good. I do love how it came out. Now I'm going to bring over this guy right here, which is the, uh, which everybody's saying the best Marvel Legends Spider-Man out there. This is the Renew Your Vow Spidey. Now, I do like this figure. Um, it has its problems, man. First of all, that head articulation on this thing is just garbage. I freaking hate it. And then for my personal preference, my personal taste, this blue is too dark. I know some people like it. I get it. And I still think he looks cool. I still love, again, love this figure. But this brighter blue is definitely the one for me. So I'm hoping at some point down the line, they do this figure with the bring back the disc hinge with col colors closer to this guy. So again, that's just my personal preference. And damn, I am just loving the way this guy looks. Now, moving on to Webman, my guy, Webman. Uh, I know a lot of people could care less about this dude, but I don't know why. Webman is just, I don't know. I, I, I'm starting to love him more and more and more because he's initially a stupid version of Peter Parker. You know, whereas Peter is you know, pretty much a genius. Uh, this guy's kind of an idiot. And I don't know why, but that just stands out to me. And the fact that he's just the inverted colors, you know what I mean? And you'll see them side by side. I mean, the blues aren't the exact, nor, nor are the reds, but you could tell they're, they're just inverted colors of each other, which again, I don't know why, but I love that. And I've, I've learned to appreciate this guy more and more and more, or as my nephew likes to call him, he's the derpy Spider-Man, uh, because I've been playing with this guy quite a bit here, which is the Marvel Legends Webman. How the heck do we even have two Webman figures? 
Like, why? How? Who cares? I care. Because I freaking love Webman now, and I actually really like this Marvel Legends Webman. I just think it's so cool looking, and then I play with him so damn much. I play with him more than my standard Spider-Man figures, honestly. I really, really do. But now we have a freaking Mayfix version. Talk about an upgrade. Now, I love how close the colors are here. The reds are very close to get close to each other. The same thing with the blues. So I think you meant how Mayfix did a great job getting those colors down, you know what I mean? But again, he looks really good sculpting. The exact same thing as all the classic Spider-Man. Again, this color swap. The web lining looks really good. It does have that wash that seems in there. You can see how the back gets a little dirty because of that wash. That's all it really is. You got the blue tick on the back like that. Everything looks really good. I do love how they also sculpted the like, web belt. It's a torso piece that kind of tugs into the diaper area of the figure. Uh, so I do like that instead of having that on the actual diaper area like that. So I think that works out really good, man. So yeah, I don't know what it is. Something about Webman. I just really enjoy quite a bit. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at accessories here. And again, they're all the exact same accessories, uh, just with like color swaps for the most part. So we got a ton of different interchangeable hands. Of course, you get the standard close-fisted hands, which work out very nice. Uh, you do got like web swinging hands, you got web flipping hands, you got different type of like open palm hands and wall crawling hands. Uh, then you do get the magnetic hands and the magnetic feet, which are really nice. So you could stick those on any type of metal surface and they do work out really, really great. So I love that. Again, all the exact same thing between both figures, just different colors. And then we do get heads, uh, excuse me, alternate heads for both figures, which are a little more angry, which I think is cool. Um, so I'm gonna take him right here and you can see they really are just slightly different where you can see that's the more standard head like that if my camera would actually focus like that. So that looks really good. And then you got a more angrier head where you can see the eyes are a little more squinted. That's really cool. You can just pop these off on the standard ball peg and so is that arm apparently. So we take that off like that and then pop this on like so. So now he looks a little more pissy, which looks really good. So I don't know. I kind of want a goofy head for Webman here. Is that just me? I don't know, but he looks really cool. I don't know what the heck it is. I freaking love this dude and I want more figures. I want I want Mezco to make a Webman. You know what I'm saying? I... I don't know, I just I just want it. Give me every web man possible. So I just love the way these head sculpts look, man. Again, the angry head looks really, really good. And then as far as web effects go, they come with the exact same web effects. Again, there's no color swapping or anything between these. So you get two smaller ones that are a little shorter, um, you know, web shooting hands. You get two longer ones, which are really nice. Uh, you do get a web swinging hand, which is really nice. You could put that in one of the gripping hands, which is really cool too. Uh, then you got this uh, larger one, with almost almost like that web cone towards the end, which is really nice. You could get him in some nice little poses or looks with that. Uh, now this particular one looks really good, and you see it does have a little peg hole in there. So we also do get this little attachment that you could like peg in there like that, and then you can attach that to a Mayfix stand, and then have it look like he's like holding on to this or swinging or flipping it at someone. Whatever you want to do, it works out really really good. Now, if you want to put on a web effect piece, it's pretty simple. You simply just take off a hand like that. And actually, let me do this properly. Let me get a um, flipping hand over here. And then you just put the loop on over the hand or the wrist like so. Take on a hand, put the hand back on. The, the swapping of the hands is butter. And you can just put them like that, like he's shooting a hand and probably pose it a little better than I'm doing right now. There you go. That looks pretty badass, right? Just a little foot, 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 foot. Ba, 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 ba. Thub, thub, thub. that's really cool dude so oh yeah dude this looks god i love these figures they're so badass but yeah those work out really good man really love that now running down the articulation i'm going to use webman here again they're the exact same figure so they're going to be the exact same thing with the articulation goes so the head and the neck are on separate ball pegs so you get a lot of good motion like that does turn left and right all the way up that far, which is so good, and then down all the way that much, and then pivot side to side. Arms can go full 360. We do get that butterfly joint in there. So it allows the shoulders to go all the way up like that, and then go front and back like so. Rotation, or rotation at the shoulder, as well as rotation at the bicep. We got double jointed elbows that are freaking butter, dude. Look how great that works. And I love things like this. Look how that joint, the elbow joint itself, 
is in two colors. I, I think it might be two pieces that are put together, or, unless it's dual melt molded. Um, but that is awesome, dude. I love how they did that. We got rotation at the wrist, as well as a hinge at the wrist. We do get that double ball peg one in the midsection. It goes down into his crotch and one into his chest. So you get a lot of good rolling around like so. Pivot side to side, all the way back that much all the way forward like so again i like how this the web belt kind of goes into like that that works out really good a uh, hip joints can kick all the way up and forward that much that is a great amount for spider-man a uh, back not so much because you got a fat eye uh then we can do the splits out you can actually pull down the hips a bit like so and get the splits even more so again that's really good for spider-man that's what we want man something crazy Rotation in the upper thigh. We got double jointed knees that work out pretty good. A little gappy right there, but nothing too terrible. Nothing at the boot, but ankles go up, down, rotate left and right. A really amazing ankle rocker. And then we do get toe articulation. So overall, damn dude, again, in my opinion, Mafex is killing it right now. They are doing some of the best like comic book accurate figures in my opinion for both Marvel and DC. But for me, I think especially their Spider-Man figures. Damn, these are the best Spider-Man figures on the market. Yes, these things are not cheap, running about a hundred bucks a piece. But what you're paying for, you're getting some amazing figures. And for me, they are definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and Mafex Batman figure. Also for comparison, here they are standing next to a Medicom Mafex Black Suit Spider-Man. And for even more comparison, here they are standing next to a Marvel Legends Spidey and Webman. And just for fun, here they are with little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Medicom Mafix Classic Spider-Man and Webman. Now honestly, I have absolutely been loving what everything that Medicom Mafix has been doing with these comic book accurate figures. They are so incredible. I just think they are some of the best figures out there right now and that's crazy because Medicom was doing some really crap stuff for the longest time and they have really won me over and again now I am a really hardcore fan of Mafex and it's honestly still weird for me saying that. But these figures are awesome man, if you love a classic Spider-Man, those bright colors are just perfect in my opinion. That's the Spider-Man I think of when I think of Spidey, and I freaking love Webman dude, he's becoming one of my favorite characters for some reason. I don't know what it is, I absolutely love that version, he's really just a reversed colored version of Spider-Man, but kinda dumb, and I love that for some reason. These figures are so well done, the articulation is just butter. I love Medicom Mafex articulation. The paint apps are very clean, gorgeous, brightly colored. I love all the different interchangeable hands. I love all the web effects that we get. I mean, these figures are just so much fun and definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.